when you're controlling, first it, it's about control, and then you know it's about trying to isolate it on, um, or or neck or leg or whatever. But it's always about trying to like create some kind of separation, you know, of his of the arms um, when you're attacking the upper body. So if if this arm is in, these arms in here. Um, these these kind of barriers here they get in my way and they're gonna make it more difficult for me to just start to to try to advance my position or get a submission and it's gonna allow him to to better move to escape All right he can create more space so <clears throat> what I would do um, if, if your opponent starts to have good frames here I would probably just go back to underhook here so now I have a cross face underhook and then <clears throat> my what I need to do is get this elbow open so this elbow's in right now <clears throat> so the way I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my left hip so I'm gonna go here I start to turn my hip and then see how when I turn here I start to use my hip under his arm to open his arm up and then once I get here now I can come back down and at this point his arm is is now uh, I've created a, a opening away from his his body so once you're once you're here this would allow me to either start to think about taking him out or um, starting to attack one of his arms so uh, if I want to take them out, <clears throat> I need to open up this space a little bit. So here, if I just go like this, this knee is inside. I've already blocked his arm out. I feel his shoulder tense here. So I get here like this. All I have to do is just bring my leg up and over. And then here, now I'm in the mount and I've already started to open this this elbow away from his body which will allow me to climb and start to attack so so if we're here if he has his elbows in this part's really <clears throat> kind of important I need to be able to separate his elbows a little bit so I can create an opening here, just use my hip. My hip slides up his ribs. Here, it's like like modified headlock. And then all I'm doing is turning back. And when I turn back, I put I've now put his arm in an awkward position. It's out, it's out of position. So here, I just keep it out of position. Look to pull over here a little bit. My right knee is against his body. Just pull, step, and as soon as you're here, just keep this underhook. So this arm will be a cross face already. You have this underhook, and this is what's gonna allow you to, to be able to attack really easily. So I need to be under this forearm if I'm in this side control. I can't be over it. Then I'm gonna turn. I put my my hip <clears throat> against his ribs, and then I'm just driving up. So I like pull to separate. Once I'm here. I'm not going to give that arm any space. I just turn my hip over. Here, and here. I'm going to switch my hip without letting that arm come in. See, my hip goes to the ground. Here, just pull. And now, <clears throat> this knee is against. I'm going to come over. And big underhook here. If you put your, when you're in this low mount, 
if you hook your feet in <coughs> like this, it's, you know, with great binds, it, it's better control. Okay, so we'll just stop here and then we'll look at the attack.